And now uh, to induct the young rascals into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Please welcome the wonderful Steve Van Zandt. Some people may not realize it, but the Rascals were the first rock band in the world. In the 50s, you know, we had vocal groups and uh, solo people, you know. And then in the 60s on the West Coast, uh, we had the Beach Boys, but yeah, they really were a vocal group and they became a band later, you know. We also had the Birds, but uh, McGuinn really did that first record by himself, and then they became a band later. <laughs> and okay, over there in England, some guys were making some noise. But uh, in the real world, in the center of the universe, New Jersey, the Rascals were the first band. Which is why I don't understand why it took so long to get into the Hall of Fame. Some rumors have gone around that um, people were, didn't like their physical uh, accoutrements. Uh, you know, their uh, stage garb was a little uh, bizarre. Uh, what I'm trying to say is people think they uh, dress funny. Now, this is a subject I know something about. And I just, you know, for the record tonight, I want to say that there was absolutely nothing unusual about the way the rascals dressed. <laughs> I... <laughs> nothing strange about that. The first time I saw the rascals with a Keyport roller drone in Keyport, New Jersey. That's right. No, it was no Fillmore's. It was no arenas in those days. Rock and roll played skating rinks where it belonged. <laughs> and the way rock is selling, we may back, be back in skating rinks next year. I don't know, but they were fantastic in those days. They were wild. Eddie would jump around. He was a wild man. He was with the tambourines and maracas and. And Gene was so cool with the guitar up there, you know, he was just fantastic. And, and Dino, I, with all due respect to all my drummer friends, and most of my friends are drummers, uh, he was the greatest rock drummer ever. Is, is. He also gained fame a few years later by being the last individual in the music business to go to the Beatle haircut. He kept his hair back. <laughs> And of course, Felix uh, introducing that amazing uh, B3, that big thing, you know. It was amazing. <laughs> to this day, every roadie in New Jersey has a hernia and back trouble. <laughs> they hate him. The English roadies got to hate Stevie Winwood, but uh, in New Jersey, they hated Felix. And I tell you, the greatest show I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, uh, okay, it was also the first show I've ever seen, but since then I've seen everybody. I saw the Beatles at Shea, I saw the Rolling Stones with Brian Jones, uh, The Who with Keith Moon, Rod Stewart with, uh, with Jeff Beck, uh, Siegfried with Roy, I've seen everybody since then, <laughs> and that show holds up. It's fantastic. The uh, first time I ever heard the song, I'll never forget it, I was with my girlfriend at the time, Beautiful girl, oh, you should have seen this girl. I'll never forget her, Loretta Gorgonzola. She was so beautiful. She had everything. She, she had brains, she had everything. And we're there, you know, just uh, her mother was out and we're, uh, we're really starting to communicate, you know, and, and um, all of a sudden, I ain't gonna eat out my heart anymore, comes on the radio. I just stopped. I just stopped. She says, what's wrong? What's wrong? I like, she wasn't even there anymore. I couldn't even, it was, a, it was, I don't know how else to describe it. It was the sexiest record I have ever heard in my life. The melody, the chords, Eddie's voice, 
the texture of Eddie with Felix and David, uh, the guitar solo was even sexy. The, 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 the organ, the record was sexier than the sex I was having with my girlfriend, let's face it. <laughs> and uh, I, that was when New Jersey soul was born, right there, you know? People talk about the white soul singers, you know, there's a lot of names that come up. But Eddie and Felix, I'm telling you right now, they're the best. I mean, you know, I mean, with all due respect, I, I, the, the Righteous Brothers, we love the Righteous Brothers, they're fantastic, you know what I mean? And everybody talked about the Righteous Brothers, but they didn't, they, Eddie, Eddie and Felix though, you see, they, to sound that black, you had to be Italian. I ain't gonna eat out my heart anymore. You better run. Good loving. Love is a beautiful thing. A girl like you, I've been lonely too long. Uh, come on up. Grooving. Uh, how can I be sure? People gotta be free. Ladies and gentlemen, Dino Danelli. Eddie Brigati, Felix Cavalieri, Gene Cornish, please. It is my honor to welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it's about time, the Rascals. Here they are again, one of the hottest new groups in the country today, the Young Rascals. Ladies and gentlemen, the Young Rascals. One, two, three, four. Well, baby, asking for the young rascals whose grooving has been number one on the chart so here they are Life would be next. 